Introduction to Setting Up the Extra ATS for Collection and Processing Intraoperative blood recovery is generally indicated in all major surgeries with an anticipated blood loss of greater than two units. This is the level at which autotransfusion becomes a cost-effective and viable option to return the patient's own red blood cells to assist in avoidance of red blood cell transfusion. To set up the extra for collection and processing, you will need the following components. A collection set, which includes a filtered reservoir, a vacuum extension line, and an aspiration line. A bowl set, which includes a centrifuge bowl in the selected size, a tubing harness with pump loop cartridge, a 10-liter waste bag, and a 1-liter primary RBC bag. A bag of anticoagulant solution and a bag of wash solution. The most convenient option to order extra disposables is the procedure set, which includes all of the necessary components to process in one package, that is, the collection set and the bowl set. This table summarizes the different procedure set configurations available with the corresponding catalog numbers. In this video, we will show you how to set up the extra for collection and processing and run the basic functions of the machine. Swing open the reservoir holder and raise it to the desired height. Keep the locking clip on the reservoir holder open. Slide the edge of the reservoir lid into the slot of the holder and push the reservoir into position. Close the clamp on the bottom outlet line. It will be reopened when connecting to the prime line of the bowl set when it is time for processing. Open the vacuum extension line package and using aseptic technique, attach one of the yellow capped ends of the vacuum line to the yellow capped vacuum port on the top of the reservoir. Placing the vacuum line in the groove on the handle prevents weight from being added to the reservoir, which can interfere with the auto start feature. Attach the other end of the line to the overflow trap of the XVAC system. Power on the extra using the power switch on the back of the unit. As soon as the display on the XVAC lights up, you may power up the XVAC using the power switch on the XVAC module. Once the extra is fully booted, and if the vacuum has not been powered on from the module, Touch the vacuum button on the touchscreen interface to activate it. Pass the aspiration and assembly line to the sterile field per hospital protocol and receive the split end from the sterile field. Attach the tubing of the aspiration and assembly line to any of the three and one quarter inch ports on the top of the reservoir. Close the roller clamp on the small bore tubing and using aseptic technique, spike the anticoagulant solution. Open the tray containing the bowl set. Open the centrifuge lid and swing open the centrifuge arm. Unlatch and open the clamp lid latch. Remove the bowl and associated tubing from the tray. Remove the protective spacer from the upper part of the bowl. Tilt the bowl away from the machine, lower the bowl onto the turntable, and push the bowl straight down. Line up the pump loop cartridge by inserting the guide pin into the opening and pushing down. Close the clamp lid latch and lock it. Close the centrifuge arm by swinging it forward and insert the waste line into the wash quality sensor. Close the centrifuge lid. Connect the blue striped fill line to the reservoir outlet port and ensure the reservoir outlet clamp is open. Hang the wash solution bags on the hooks provided. Remove the RBC bag from the tray, making sure the connection from the RBC bag to the RBC line is tight. The connection may sometimes loosen during shipping of the disposables. Then. Close the clamps on the two other lines of the RBC bag and hang it on the upper hanger of the IV pole. 
Close the slide clamp of one of the two yellow wash lines and spike the wash solution with the line left open. Pull out the waste bag from the tray and remove the tray. Hang the waste bag on the two lower hangers and connect the waste line to the waste bag. Ensure the waste bag drainage port is completely closed. With the XVAC system on, open the roller clamp fully and allow a minimum of 200 milliliters of anticoagulant solution to be drawn into the blood collection reservoir. Touch the load button to automatically load the pump loop. The system performs a series of checks during the auto load procedure. If auto start is active, then it is not necessary to touch the play button. The fill phase will begin processing automatically once the reservoir contains the program auto start volume. If auto start is not active, press the play key to initiate processing when the desired amount of blood has been collected. One should ensure that the blood in the reservoir is regularly mixed to prevent sedimentation and to ensure that the anticoagulant is well dispersed. As blood enters the bowl during the fill phase, centrifugation concentrates the red blood cells into the bowl while supernatant components are expelled to a waste bag. This continues until the buffy coat is detected, which indicates that the bowl is properly filled with red blood cells. When the wash phase begins, the centrifuge continues to spin and the processing displit changes to reflect that the wash phase is in progress. During the wash phase, the volume of the saline solution pumped into the bowl is displayed on the screen and constantly updated by the system software. When the empty phase begins, the pump rotates clockwise again to move the red blood cells from the bowl to the RBC bag. The volume and hematocrit of the RBC transfer from the bowl are displayed on the processing displit and constantly updated by the system software. From the end case screen, the operator may empty the RBC line, export case tally data, and unload the pump loop, which allows for the teardown of disposables. The machine can then be powered off.